going up the garage. What in the f That's better. Let's do this. Welcome back to the garage on this beautiful, balmy Easter weekend. Uh, this is Eastern Canada, of course. Well, not all of Canada. Some of our brothers to the East have a much more temperate environment up here in northern Alberta, Edmonton. Uh, this is Easter sometimes. Sometimes the tulips are up. Sometimes it snows. Anyway, I think this is our third winter of the season we're trying to get through. I'll uh, post a link on the description of that and how we uh, gauge our seasons up here. Anyway, if you're joining me again, if you uh, tuned into the last episode, uh, we built uh, our double burner here that spewed some dragon fire. Uh, if you're brand new, if you just found me uh, and you're building a forge and you already have a burner, keep on watching. If you're uh, looking to build a forge and you haven't built a burner yet, well, why don't you click the link on back to the previous video and uh, we'll go through the ins and outs of this double uh, forge burner. Anyway, you'll notice I got some fire bricks here. These are two and a half by nine by four fire bricks. Uh, if you're in Edmonton, Alberta and you're looking to build a kiln, a pizza oven, a forge, uh, you can find these over at Lines for Factories. Uh, they hooked me up with these bricks. After I paid them, of course. Uh, out of frame here, I got a bag of refractory cement, and I'll explain that a little bit later. Uh, when you're building forges, you can go from, once you got your burner, you can go from dirt simple. You could, uh, you could simply get enough of these bricks. You can stack them up on your bench. You get your burner blowing in there, and you could get some bricks up here, and you could do that. That's fine, that'll work. A uh, lot more potential to break a brick, uh, not as movable. You gotta find a solid place that you're not gonna burn down. Obviously, I got a metal workbench. If you got a wooden one, that ain't gonna work for you. Uh, you can go to the medium. You can find yourself an empty uh, propane tank or something and uh, you can cut her open. Oh, hello. How's it going? Good, you? Not too bad. Oh, he's lots of visitors over in the garage. Stepdaughter's boyfriend popped in, see what I was doing. Uh, anyway, back to where I was there. Uh, if you, uh, the kind of medium route, you can find yourself an empty cylinder, like a, an empty propane tank, uh, an empty oxygen cylinder, anything that's already round and contained. And you can uh, cut her open and <laughs> don't just go cutting cylinders open. Uh, there's lots of videos, there's lots of information on the internet do some major research. I have not done the research. I'm not going that route. Don't just start cutting into cylinders because sparks and gas equals big boom. Boom hurts. Um, but should you find one and you take the necessary precautions, you get one cut open, you can get a ceramic fiber insulation, I believe it is. Uh, there's different brand names. There's, uh, I think it's Insulwool and stuff like that. And you can wrap the inside of that cylinder you can uh, cut a hole, you can get your double burner or single burner through there, and you can heat it that way. I would still invest in a brick or two for the bottom, that, uh, so when your work uh, is on the bottom surface resting there, you're not going to wreck that wool. Now, you can go to the third route, and like everything I do, I get myself into a pickle and I kind of go full all in. I'm going to be fabricating a metal box. Now, I have a welding machine, like I said in the last episode, and... I'm going to weld the metal together. There you could uh, go different routes. You could bolt it together if you can get the right pieces cut to length. And I'm not gonna give you a breakdown of the metal. This is just gonna be, uh, I'll give you the dimensions that I'm going with and what my plan is. And uh, then you can go from there and figure out what you wanna do with your forge. So basically what I'm going for is I'm going to build kind of a box. My box is gonna have 
There's going to be a base that's separate from the top. Now the base is going to have legs and wheels and that's going to be movable. And what I'm going to essentially do is build a tray that is two bricks long and a little bit wider than one brick wide. Now that tray is also going to be a two and a half inch deep tray. And my reasoning for that is I'm going to take that refractory cement I told you about and I'm going to pour the base layer. And that base layer will be two and a half inches thick, so it'll be essentially like a big solid bottom brick. Now my top of my box, that's going to be almost, it's going to be like a, if you took a cardboard box, flipped it upside down, took the lid off, that's what I'm building. Same thing, it's going to be two and a half inch bricks, it's going to be two bricks long. And it's going to be just over one brick wide, so that when I take that and slide it down over top the other box, it'll sit right down. Now these two bricks are going to be the height and then that at top is also going to be two and a half inches long, deeper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my burners, I'll cut two holes in the top and I will stick them down inside so that the bottom edge of this burner is the same height as this brick. I'll weld those in place there and then I'll take all this out We'll take that uh, in the house because it's too cold in this damn country to uh, pour cement at this time of year, especially refractory cement. It would take forever to cure. So what we'll do is we'll pour another layer of refractory cement in the top and it's going to go and it's going to surround these. We'll plug these up so you don't get anything in them. And that's going to create another solid brick at the top. These are going to be loose and there'll be a piece of sheet metal that comes down. I'll have pinholes so that it lines up. And essentially my mind, and I could be wrong, I am an amateur here, this is all flying by the seat of my pants, I'll be able to put that box down, there'll be metal here, there'll be a little cutout here, we'll be able to fire those up, you can push that brick aside, you can stick your piece in, close her up, same at the back, if you've got a really long piece, you can push it right through, you can go right through, you've got to half close these. That's going to be your basic design. The reason I'm going with this design is, let's say in the future I, uh, I want to forge something really big or really tall. I can go buy two more bricks, stack them here, and I can raise this up and I can sit it on these bricks. Now you're going to have some heat escape, it's going to be as perfect as low down, but I can essentially double this in height. Or if I have a really wide thing, maybe I'm doing a gate and I need to I need to punch a hole through here or something. I'll be able to raise it up that inch. And I'll be able to get something big that goes crossways. And I can go right through the whole thing because I can raise that up just a little bit. Of course, your, uh, your down low, your basic uh, forge is going to be the most efficient. But it, it gives me options. And that's essentially what I'm going to be doing. So, we will... Uh, Let's go back out on here and uh, we'll get to building.
see my redhead mess bed tear shed queen be miss squeaks the stage smells tells hells bells miss spells knocks me on my knees it didn't hurt flirt blood squirt stuff shirt like me on a tree after I count down three rounds in hell, I'll be in good company. Redhead, mess, bed, tear, shed, queen, be my squeaks. The stage smells, tells, hells, bells, miss, bells, knocks me on my knees. It didn't hurt, flirt, blood, squirt, stop, shirt, like me on a tree. After I count down three rounds in hell, I'll be in good company. to look like a forge. As you can see, we got our uh, we got our burners welded in. You probably saw on the speed up uh, time lapse there, I tested them up before it's the final weld. So, like I was saying, uh, in the next video, we're gonna pour some refractory down here. We're gonna pour some refractory up here. It's gonna come to the level of there. This is always gonna be removable. When she's in uh, use, she's gonna sit just like this. You're going to have a brick on the front and back, just like this. Fire her up, slide your metal in, shut her up, she's good to go. Anyway, thanks for joining me in the garage again. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see the next video or follow along in our future endeavors. We're going to start uh, throwing some metal in this bad boy. Until then... I don't know. What the? Remember, keep your forge hot and your drink cold. Well, here you have it. We're done. Boom. This fabrication.